And welcome back. The Egyptian Economic Forum Egypt 2022 concludes its activities in the new administrative capital today. A session entitled The Roadmap to Develop the Industrial Sector is to be held ahead of the closing session and that will be later on the day. But on the framework of the activities of the uh, sessions of the Economic Forum, Nile TV's international Ahmed Nader was covering the international event and finding the following interview with the Spanish deputy. Ambassador Alfonso Diaz. On the sidelines of uh, the second day of Egypt's economic conference and the road to the future and the roadmap uh, for uh, the economic future for Egypt, I'm honored to be having with me uh, within the um, activities of the second day, uh, Mr. Alfonso Diaz, the Deputy Ambassador at the Spanish Embassy. Thank you very much for being with us uh, today uh, on Nile TV International and the Egyptian television. How do you see the importance of holding such an economic conference for the future of Egypt and the region? Well, the conference is very timely and very important. I think it's indeed extremely necessary for the uh, economic uh, community uh, to know the developments in this country, the plans to open up the, the economy, and in this sense, I think that uh, there are good prospects for international investors to come to Egypt and to help uh, uh, in the <clears throat> in the goal of uh, developing the, the economy. Uh, how do you see the bilateral relations between Egypt and Spain uh, in the past seven or eight years, more specifically under the tenure of His Excellency President Abdel Fattah Hassisi? Well, relations are indeed very good, but I think that we should not be too uh, self-indulgent and try to make them much better. Uh, recently, uh, we, we had an opportunity to show that the economic and trade relations are uh, growing fast because we had a big uh, event with more than uh, 25 uh, Spanish companies ready to continue or to invest for the first time here. And I think there are uh, brilliant prospects for have a deeper and mutually beneficial uh, economic and trade cooperation. Uh, of course, uh, in the month of November, next month, the COP27 would be held here in Egypt, in Sharm el-Sheikh. Uh, how do you see the preparations, the Egyptian preparations for such a summit and the anticipated participation for the Spanish side in it? Uh, my colleagues at the embassy who are dealing with uh, all the uh, different uh, aspects of the conference tell me that uh, it is very efficient, that things are uh, running smoothly and they are sure that uh, from the logistic point of view, uh, from the organizational point of view, uh, we can trust Egypt it will be a success. Of course, success means also that uh, the leaders of the world uh, do uh, achieve uh, agreements which are uh, enough to, to, to combat uh, the climate change. And this uh, remains to be seen, but we, we we are confident. Uh, I can, uh, we can confirm that our president of government uh, uh, will be coming uh, to the high level event and he will be very, very happy to share this opportunity with other leaders of the world and to make a Spanish uh, and European Union contribution to, to this very important event. So Mr. Alfonso Diaz, the Deputy Ambassador at the Spanish Embassy, thank you very much for being with us today. My pleasure, thank you very much.